Weekend one of Rodeo Austin is in the books, but there are still 10 days left to enjoy pro rodeo, entertainment from award-winning musicians, fair food, and a whole lot more. Tierra Newbaum is live on the rodeo grounds this morning to show us around. Good morning, Tierra. Hey guys, good morning. Hanging out with the goats here, and uh, this is so cute, so fun. The petting zoo at the rodeo is always a fan favorite. And here with uh, Glenn Allen Phillips, he is the CEO of Rodeo Austin. And I was reading on Rodeo Austin's website that this started with 16 animals as a stock show, and uh, now it's turned into one of Austin's premier events. Can you talk about the success and, and, and really just what's exciting about Rodeo Austin well, right now? Rodeo Austin, we have something for everyone, we feel like. Uh, we have world-class rodeo entertainment, uh, concerts fall on each rodeo. We have a outdoor stage full of entertainment, the petting zoo, carnival, uh, all different types of action attractions, everything from Tomas Garcia Laza, world-renowned uh, Charo. Um, so we think we're a family-friendly event, and uh, we promote agriculture and youth, and uh, hope everyone will come out and have a great time. Yeah. And can you talk about the growth a little bit? You guys continue to bring big names into not only the pro rodeo, but also the concert lineups. And, and it just feels like every year this gets bigger and bigger. Well, we, think we, we are in a growth phase. Um, and of course, we've had a tremendous amount of growth when you go through our history and looking back at 1938, where we began to where we're at today. Mm -hmm. But uh, um, we just feel like we can always keep expanding. We can always keep growing. We can always keep finding ways to, to make it better and make it more fun. Because at the end of the day we're about entertainment we want people to come out and uh, we are limited with our facilities but at the same time that if creative enough you can work around those most definitely when people come out can you talk a little bit about um, what their support and, and these dollars are going towards as a nonprofit all of, everything uh, that we make financially is to turn around and give back to the youth of Texas and so uh, we are growing the next generation of Texas kids and so anytime you buy a hot dog or or a, a a bag of popcorn or a carnival rides or a rodeo ticket, um, those proceeds that are made off of that then are to go back and help benefit Texas youth. What's the vibe been like at some of these rodeos that you've already had so far? Things kicked off last week, oh, it, uh, but it's been a lot of fun. It's been exciting. It's been exciting. We've had full crowds. Uh, the crowds have been into it. We've had great shows after it, but even out on the grounds, when you look at our outdoor stage, uh, people coming out and enjoying it, we've had a tremendous amount of excitement out here. Well, what are some of the other things that families can get into as they're traveling the grounds? <clears throat> Just come out and see everything. Uh, like I said, uh, we have our Wild West shows. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Um, our shopping that going on. Uh, we have a great set of vendors out here shopping this year, um, and so there's really. Just a little bit of for everybody, and then of course Austin's largest carnival. Can't forget about that. That's right here. So much fun. The beer and wine tent, carnival rides, food trucks, all the things, and you can hang out with the goats. I think they're eating my boots or eating my pants here. Uh, we will check back in with you guys in just a bit, but 10 more days of Rodeo Austin, a must come to event here in town. And uh, how fun is this? Look at him. <laughs> Oh, that little baby cow. What a heart what a hard assignment this I morning, know, huh, yeah, Casey? Yeah.